In my opinion, one of the best ways, if not the best way, to properly learn a tool is, of course, besides using it, is to learn and explore its source code. In this video, we're going to talk about React, but of course, the same concepts can be applied to any tool that you like. I'm going to present you two ways of doing that. The first one and the most straightforward one is to spin up a React application in StackBlitz or any other app that you prefer. Then place a debugger keyword somewhere in your app. Then make sure that you have that you are on the sources tab and have the breakpoints enabled. Then refresh the app. Now the debugger is in action and you uh, from this point, you can explore the flow of your program. I find this way to be the best whenever I'm developing applications. However, sometimes you might want to go deeper into details about how certain features of that tool work. For that, there is a second way, which involves, first of all, to clone the repo locally. I have already done that, so I won't bother you with that. Then the way we are going to do that is by exploring and debugging the React tests. The first thing that we can do in order to have a better experience while doing that is to enable the source maps. And uh, I have done that by uh, specifying source map inline in this uh, Babel options um, object. Then what we can do is to choose a file, a test file of a certain feature that we would like to explore. For example, let's pick uh, React test lazy or React lazy test. Uh, of course, this is about the lazy function in React. Now I'm going to place a breakpoint here, for example. Now what we want to do is to copy the full path of this file. We can do that by pressing Control P, then uh, Control K, then P. And as you can see, if I now press Control V, I can see uh, the entire path of that file. What we are going to do with this value is to specify it in the in the base config of Jest. So what you're seeing here are just Jest options. For example, here here you can find test regexs and many others. But uh, the one that concerns us is test regex. Here we're going to paste that uh, value that we have just copied. Then what we have to do is to um, configure the debugger in VS Code. Um, in this case, it's VS Code. But if you're using anything else, then you might have to figure things out yourself. Uh, and here we have launch JSON. What this is going to do is to basically attach a debugger to the process uh, initiated by this command, which is yarn test classic. And uh, now we can uh, try things out. Make sure that um, the proper configuration object is selected when debugging. Then you can uh, start debugging. Let's hope that it works. Yeah, and it works. Um, now, coming back to enabling the source maps, now we can, uh, if we sp step into, we can see the actual definition of the of the lazy function. Of course, this this can be applied to anything that uh, that React has, so that won't be a problem. Um, what, what this means, by the way, is that is that uh, this uh, this object has been uh, um, determined when the tests have uh, started running. So it's sort of like like a runtime um, determination, if you will. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, we are in the exact definition of um, of that function. And of course, you can apply the same uh, approach to each file, to any file that you want to explore in depth. All right, so 
that has been it for this video i hope this has been helpful to you